Welcome back to my channel. Why do I say welcome you ask? Because this is my first Pokemon video and I'm not a Pokemon channel nor do I really get into Pokemon as much as the rest of the world. But I know most of y'all watching this probably are new and would like to know more about these rare Pokemon from Pokemon Go. Who's that Pokemon? It's Uncle Ben. The biggest mobile phone game in the world, Pokemon Go has one of the biggest fan bases in the gaming universe. And y'all might know that I love video games, I make video game videos all the time. If you haven't seen them, you should go check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. My dad plays Pokemon Go along with my brother and I recently joined because my dad wanted me to and so far my experience with it has been quite fun as I've been catching legendaries and shinies which for some reason gets my heart beating fast and makes me get real excited when I encounter them. This is why I thought that a Pokemon Go video would be fun to make. Plus, there's Pokemon Go players all across the world. I love you guys, and this is 10 of the most rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Number 10, Unknown. Unknown deserves an obligatory spot on the list. This Pokemon is very sought after with its 20 plus different variations. This Pokemon used to be incredibly rare in Pokemon Go, and it still is, but Niantic has began releasing this Pokemon from time to time during different events. Unknown has been featured in several events, though only a few at a time. Some of the iterations of the Pokemon have been only released at paid ticketed events as well, which means it is very unlikely that many trainers have more than a few different versions. Number 9, Salazzle. Salazzle's base evolution, Salandit, it nearly deserves its own spot on the list. The Pokemon is only available in 12 kilometer strange eggs, which are more difficult to come by than regular eggs. Once players get a hold of a 12 kilometer egg, they have to get lucky enough to catch a Salandit, which makes Salizzle even more difficult to obtain. Only female Salandit can even evolve into Salizzle. To get the Pokedex entry for Salizzle, players need to get a 12 kilometer strange egg, get lucky enough to hatch a Salandit, and get lucky enough for that Salandit to be a female. There are a lot of hoops to jump through. This one would be a nice catch. Nice. Number 8 Legendary Lake Trio Azelf, Uxi, and Mesprit. Individually, the Lake Trio may not seem that difficult to get your hands on, but getting all three can be nearly impossible, unless you have friends in other parts of the world. Each of the three has a different spawn region, and the region spawn massive distances, making it very difficult to get all three of these legendary Pokemon. Azelf spawned at a raid boss in Greenland and the Americas. Uxi was a raid boss in Asia, and Mesprit was found in Europe Africa and Middle East, and also in India. At the time of this video, these Pokemons have not swapped regions, which means only players that battled in these regions during their first appearance have obtained them. That's just insane. Number 7, Pikachu Libre Costume. This Pokemon is not impossible to get, but it is tough. To obtain this costume Pikachu, players need to invest a good chunk of time and skill into the Battle League. Players will need to compete in PvP matches against other players until they complete enough matches and also reach rank 25. This may not seem like much of a task, but playing through enough battles in the Battle League to reach rank 25 can be a daunting task. The reward is well worth it though, with the Luchador Pikachu being one of the rarest Pokemon in the game and in my opinion, one of the coolest looking Pokemon. Number 6. Meltan and Melmetal Meltan and Melmetal are not rare because of their low spawn rate, as they don't naturally spawn in Pokemon Go at all. These Pokemons were added to the game as a collaboration for the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. To obtain these strange and exclusive Pokemon, players must own a Nintendo Switch, a copy of either Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, and then play through the game until they reach 
Busia City. This is a considerable time sink, not to mention the money that it costs to purchase the Nintendo console and the game. So if you have one of these Pokemon, consider yourself lucky because it's one of the most rare. Alright, now we're going to be moving on to number 5, Armored Mewtwo. Armored Mewtwo is one of the coolest designed Pokemon in the game, but also remains one of the most elusive. This variant of Mewtwo has been available in raids a couple of times in Pokemon Go, but only for a very limited time. Catching this Pokemon was difficult due to its strength, which required players to team up with other trainers to take down the raid boss and add it to their Pokédex. This Pokemon has a less than 1% chance to catch even after you win the raid, so if you do have this Pokemon, consider it a major flex. Number 4. Cloned Pokemon Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur Cloned versions of Venusaur, Blastoids, and Charizard were only available in 4 star raid battles for only a brief period of time, just like the Armored Mewtwo we just talked about. And these Pokemon were available as a part of a collaboration with a Pokemon movie that debuted around the same time. Because of the overlap, many players obviously used their limited number of raid passes to prioritize the Armored Mewtwo, which was the strongest of all these event Pokemon. These Pokemon are distinct in their patterned bodies, with each of them having a more primal appearance. That is why they're called clone because they look different but they're not shinies. So if you have one of these Pokemon, consider yourself lucky as well. And moving on to number 3, Sigil Sigilyph. Ah. These Pokemon names are hard to pronounce, aren't they? Sigilyph, yes. There are many regional Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and some are rarer than others because of the region where Sigilyph spawns. It remains but only one of the rarest regional Pokemon, but one of the rarest catches in the game as well. This Pokemon is only available in Greece and Egypt. This may seem like a large spawn area, but the number of people native to this region combined with the number of tourists that visit the region make Sigilyph extremely hard to come by in the game. Number 2. Snorlax in the Special Cowboy Hat The Cowboy Hat Snorlax was a costumed variant of the Sleepy Giant and was only available in the in-person Pokemon Go Fest 2022 events. These events were held in Berlin, Seattle, and Sapporo and participants had to pay a ticket price to get the chance to even catch this Pokemon. Cowboy Hat Snorlax was available in the wild within the confines of the event space. This means that quite a few players there were able to catch this Pokemon, but it is still incredibly rare in the Pokédex of most players. And you thought that I was just going to move on to number one on the list, but before we get into that, I would love to show y'all guys this honorable mention in my opinion because I can't have a rare Pokemon Go video without mentioning, yes. The Legendary Galarian Birds, Zapdos, Articuna, and Moltres. These are arguably the hardest legendary Pokemon to catch in the game. You can only see them when you use a daily incense, which only lasts 15 minutes long, and you only get one a day, and still even after that, the spawn rate is so low. Okay, so let's say you do encounter this one, or one of these three. That is just the first step. You still have to feed it a golden raspberry and then hit an excellent curveball throw. And still, after you do all of that as perfect and precise as you can, you have an 8% chance of it staying in the ball. Then after that, it has a flea rate of 90%. So if you have one of these Pokemon, be ready to brag because you really do deserve it. And last but not least, Number 1. Rotom. Rotom is a strange Pokemon in Pokemon Go. This Pokemon has many different forms, but only two have been released in Pokemon Go. Rotom Wash was available as a photobomb encounter for players who played during Pokemon Go Fest 2020. This form was widely obtained during the event, but the far more elusive Rotom Mo is the rarest Pokemon in the game. Rotom Mo was similar to Rotom Wash and could only be caught at a Go Fest event, but this time only players who traveled to the in person Go Fest 2022 locations and completed special research got the chance to catch a Rotom Mo. The event was held in Berlin, Germany, Seattle, USA, Sapporo, and Japan. 
the event was ticketed at a very high price, and for players living outside of these cities, the cost of travel was also included. This makes Rotomo the rarest Pokemon currently in the whole game. I don't know about you, but I am not flying across the whole world for one Pokemon. If you liked my list, let me know with a like and subscribe. If you haven't played Pokemon Go yet, I would highly recommend it. It is very fun and actually not gonna lie therapeutic. If you've ever caught any of these rare Pokemon, let me know down in the comments below. I would love nothing more than to start a comment war with who has the best Pokemon. <sighs> I love you guys, and until next time, thank you for making it this far in the video. You're amazing, and until we meet again, peace.